Today I'm going to show you how to make these bright and happy rainbow fingerless gloves. I'll be showing you how to make them in the size adult, small, medium, but if you'd like to support my channel you can purchase a PDF download of the pattern which also includes two sizes for children and a size adult large. I'll link to the pattern which is available on Etsy and Ravelry down in the description below. For this project I'm using loops and threads impeccable yarn in every color of the rainbow. The required supplies for this project are a set of US 9 knitting needles, I'm using circular in the demonstration but you can use straight needles as well, a darning needle, and a pair of scissors. I'll link in the description below to all the supplies shown here today, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for lots more quick and easy knitting patterns and tutorials. To begin, I'm going to cast on 30 stitches using the long tail cast on. If you need a closer look at this method, I'll link to my video above which shows you how to do the cast on in more detail. I now have 30 stitches on my needle. I'm going to set my counter to zero and begin knitting. The entire pattern is worked in the garter stitch, which is very simple. You just knit every stitch of every row. If you need a refresher on how to do the knit stitch, I'll link to my how-to video above. I just finished knitting my first row. I'm going to continue knitting 9 more rows for a total of 10 rows in the red. I just finished my 10th row of red and it's time to switch to the orange. Begin by cutting a 6-8 to eight inch tail from your working yarn and then begin to knit as if continuing in the red. But instead of taking the red yarn, form a loop with your orange yarn and pull it over your right needle, continuing to work with the new yarn. We'll come back to secure the tails of the yarn soon. After finishing a couple of rows of orange, I'll go back and tie a quick temporary knot between the tails of the red and orange yarns. We'll finalize these knots later, so just a single quick knot is fine for now. Alternatively, you can stop after just a couple of stitches to tie the knot. As you continue knitting your second color, you'll notice that one side of your work has an extra little orange stripe. That's normal and that's called the wrong side of your work. The other side where the stripes don't have the extra line is called the right side of your work. I'll continue knitting for a total of 10 stripes in the orange. Next, 10 stripes of the yellow. I wanted to pause to tell you that if you ever lose track of the number of rows you're on, you can count the rows on garter stitch by twos. You'll see here that there are three rows of bumps, and each line is made of two rows. So in my piece here, I've knit six rows in the yellow so far. Next, we're going to knit 10 rows of the green, and then 10 more rows of blue. Now we're on to the last stripe, where we're going to knit 10 rows of purple. I just finished my last row. In total, I've knit 60 rows. It's time to bind off the work. To bind off, knit the first two stitches as usual, and then use your left needle to pull the first stitch over the second, which will leave one stitch behind. Next, knit another stitch and follow the same method, pulling the first stitch over the second. Every time, you'll be left with one stitch on the right needle, until you reach the end of the row with just one stitch remaining. Pull the stitch out, and you can use your fingers to pull the tail through the loop to secure the end. Our knitting is now complete. You'll see that you've created a square, 7.5 inches wide and 7.5 inches tall. We'll seam up the sides, leaving a 2 inch gap for the thumb hole. But first we need to secure the knots of the tails of the yarn from our color changes and weave in the ends. When I weave in my ends, I look for the V-shaped stitches beneath the bumpy rows and using a darning needle, I bring the yarn over and under the sides of the V-stitch. As you weave in your ends, if you end up with a little extra tail, make sure to leave that on the wrong side of the glove, which will be the inside of the glove after we seam it up. Weave in all the ends except for the two tails from casting on and binding off. Now that we've finished weaving in our yarn change tails, it's time to seam up the glove using the mattress stitch. Thread your purple yarn onto a darning needle and begin by going through a loop on the right side of the work. Next, go through the corresponding loop on the left side of the work. Continue like this, going into one loop on the right and then one loop on the left until you reach halfway through the blue stripe. At this point, if you're making the gloves for yourself, you can try on the glove to see where you want your thumb hole to be. If you want it lower, continue working in the mattress stitch until you want it to begin. When you're ready to make the thumb hole, tie a quick knot on the inside of the glove and then run the needle through a few stitches on only one side of the glove for about two inches. When you reach the intersection of the green and yellow stripes, or wherever you want the thumb hole to end on your gloves, secure the yarn with another quick knot on the inside of the glove and then continue working in the mattress stitch to seam up the yellow, orange, and red stripes. As you go, you might notice a little of the purple seam showing through. If this happens, make sure you're pulling the seam somewhat tightly as you go. And alternatively, you can seam the glove using a needle and thread if you prefer that look. When you reach the end, secure the yarn with a few knots inside the glove. Next, thread the red tail from casting on to your darning needle. If your work has a little gap at the closure, use the red yarn to sew up the gap, and then secure the yarn with a few knots inside the glove. 
Next, as always, I like to put a knitting tag on all my work, and I'll link below in the description to the shop where I order my tags. Our gloves are complete. If you'd like to make these gloves in the children's sizes or a larger adult size, please visit my Etsy and Ravelry links below to download the full pattern. If you make the gloves, I'd love to see them. Please share your work with me on Instagram, at Diana Levine Knits. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like, comment below, and subscribe to the channel for lots more fun, quick, and easy knitting patterns and tutorials.